Welcome back to Straight Facts by Denard Investor. Hey guys, I'd like to wish every single one of you a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Wednesday to you. Um, one of our followers raised a very valid point. Notice how Pence was just in Iraq, and I've been telling you this whole time that the Trump administration is in charge of this. Um, one of our followers by the name of InfoSeeker uh, noticed that to, to further confirm what we've shared here, how the Trump administration's in charge of the timing of the rate change and the overall process being executed of the rate change, well, Pence was just there. Okay, so there's just more confirmation that for the overall rate change and, and everything happening within Iraq, with them reaching stability in order to execute the rate change, the Trump administra administration's in charge. So that's just more confirmation that that he's gonna use this to his time benefit, okay, for the uh, elections. So anyway, so thanks InfoSeeker for, for noticing that and sharing that with us. Um, here's what I wanna share with you. So some of you guys were were trying to possibly calculate a rate. One thing I wanna stress to you guys, uh, they will never give you enough information in the media for you to actually calculate a rate. I'm gonna, and for one, they're actually gonna mis mislead you and discourage you. If you go back to roughly June, July of earlier this year, they kept telling you that the dinar was valued at a dollar in the dollar range, okay? That's basically what they're telling you is if Iraq was to change the rate now while the dinar is pegged to the dollar, that's what you're gonna have as a dollar rate. But guys, again, they'll never give you enough information for you to even calculate the rate. Plus, there's a key layer to this that I've shared with you guys that those of you that were trying to calculate the rate, you didn't factor in what I shared with you, okay? The, while, the, while the rate, today is at the pro while the value of the rate is at the program rate okay the value the, the the overall amount of the budget will be calculated in trillions of dinar well the budget has a rider in it so once they change the rate the um the budget will recalculate into the billion range it'll be calculated at billions of dinar instead of trillions of dinar again it's got a rider in it to do this so that's what i want to stress to you okay so that's why right now you're going to see the budget come out with a trillions amount of dinar. And then after the rate change, a step that you will never see, it just happens automatically behind the scenes. The budget will, will be recalculated, totaling billions of dinar. Okay. But again, you'll never see that step. So guys, it's not worth your time to try to calculate the rate because they're never going to give you enough math to do that. Okay. Kind of like with the budget. Notice how they're telling you that that the steps within the budget, such as uh, Kurdistan and Baghdad, uh, implementing their steps around January 1st, around the beginning of the year. Well, guys, that's just simply because that's where the budget spans from. The budget itself spans from January 1st through the end of December. But from what I've from what I've been able to prove to you, it might not actually be implemented till about Q2. Okay, so they will never give you enough information for you guys to figure out the timing of the rate change or the actual uh, rate itself. So, so guys, it's not worth your time to calculate it, okay? Plus, j basically just because they told you they'll be sending one trillion dinar, again, that's the amount before the rate change. That's Those are just operating expenses and stuff for Kurdistan. That's their portion of the budget. It's partially operating expenses as well as, um, uh, you know, money to cover Article 148 CL. It's, it's post rate change funds, guys. That's why Kurdistan and Baghdad have never done this before. Okay, so anyway, guys, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. Everything's right on track. Now, to help you guys out with, with that cover art that I was talking about yesterday, I'll, I'll share that with you now. Guys, that was a prophetic word from my sister to me back on Christmas Day of 14. I was talking to my sister, and I said, hey, here's what I'm seeing in the news and all that. And she paused because God was talking to her. And then she turned around and talked to me, and she said, she goes, God's telling me March 17th. Now, in the prophetic guys, God will never, most of the time, almost never give you an exact date for anything. Usually he'll reveal a season to you or something like that. So I want to stress to you guys, I'm not telling you that the rate's going to change on March 17th. What, what that is, is through faith, God re was revealing like, notice how I said a season, guys. A season is three months, basically a quarter, okay? Uh, he shared March 17th, so basically what he was trying to and no year was revealed in that i want to stress no year just somewhere around march 17th the um 
that's when God is telling me that the rates is going to change. Okay, I don't, that's it, just March 17th. But again, that could be the season. The season on that would be Q1. Okay, um, it could mean the month of March. I don't know, but it's somewhere around March 17th, guys. So that's, that's what I'm trying to reveal to you. Now, um, but remember, remember, guys, I've really told you this morning it would need to happen more towards the end of Q1. And, and I haven't left Q1, so don't, don't, don't be jumping into Q2. I'm going to put my hand through this phone and smack you. But they, um, they would have to change the rate somewhere most likely near the end of Q2. I'm sorry, towards the end of Q1. That way they walk into Q2 with a new rate in hand. Okay? That positions the money to be for the new rate to, be, uh, to follow the implementation of the budget around Q2. So that's what I want to stress to you guys. I'm, I'm looking more somewhere around the time frame of when kind of when and how Kuwait did theirs. Kuwait was uh, March 24th. I don't necessarily think it's going to happen on March 24th, but possibly somewhere around there, okay? And I'm not giving you a date, but one thing I will stress to you is if you go back to the video I did with Brad, I stress to you that the rate, in my opinion, the rate would be changing over a weekend, okay? So there you go. Anyway, guys, so just, just be careful on Again, they're never gonna give you enough information for you to calculate the date or the rate. I know what I'm looking for. I will share that with you guys as I've already told you, we're looking for the, uh, for the markets to shoot up and reach higher highs on you know, US financial markets, all that. And that's, that's all by design to promote Trump for reelection as president because they manipulate those markets. And see right now, the Dow's about 28,000 points, but notice that they're still working on the China trade agreement. And guys, the China trade's not linked to this. Iraq itself could not structure and plan and prepare their rate change. Remember, they've used this whole year to prefer, prepare for the actual rate change. But my point is, Iraq could not plan and prepare for their rate change around fluid events. Okay? They can't. That's, that makes no logical sense. So the only indirect relationship, again, it's an indirect relationship between the China trade and the rate change. Trump is using the China trade as a tool to spike and boost the U.S. markets. That's it, okay? News anchors have actually stated this in, in news article, guys, that Trump will use the China trade as a tool to spike and boost the U.S. financial markets. And then that's where the, so that's, and that's where the, when the rate change comes in, that'll, that'll in, the, the rate change will actually inject a ton of, a ton of money, you know, billions of dollars into our economy and into our pockets. And then on the other side, you have the U.S. financial markets getting spiked and raised. So, you know, you're gonna see some higher highs, I mean, my guess, probably around March sometime. Okay, maybe around the beginning of March, the Dow could be in the mid 28,000 range. I don't know, we'll have to see how, see how it all plays out. But this is all by design, Trump's in charge, the markets are all manipulated, guys. Um, anyway, guys, have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.